For the 20 million Americans who live with diabetes, daily finger pricks are a painful part of life. Getting the proper glucose reading is critical in controlling your diabetes. There is now a group of biotech companies that say they can change the way diabetics monitor their blood sugars with an implantable microchip like this one. We're here in New York to uh, unveil to the world the plans for the development of an implantable glucose sensor using RFID or radio frequency identification technology. A tiny microchip about the size of a grain of rice would be injected into the arm of a diabetic patient where they could actually take their glucose reading from within the body on an external scanner, thereby negating the need to prick your finger one to four times a day. Veriship Corporation has been a pioneer in RFID technology, first with their pet ID applications, and most recently in humans with their VeriMed patient identification system. They are now working with a biosensor development company, Receptors LLC, in hopes to develop a working prototype for the implantable glucose sensor over the next six months. People have been trying to develop in vivo, in the body, glucose sensing technology for, I would say, roughly 30 years. And the projects have always failed because they haven't used an integrated approach. And that's one of the real strengths to this project. It is anticipated that after this microchip is placed, the patient can painlessly monitor their blood sugars using a wireless scanner. The scanner also powers the microchip, avoiding the need for an internal battery. This easy pain-free technology hopes to change the lives of millions of diabetics. Well, I think the goal would be for a diabetic not to even remember that they're a diabetic. That it becomes so transparent what they need to do that it's just not, not a big deal to them anymore. Whereas right now, they really have to factor that into their lives. But these efforts are just the beginning. The companies hope to have this chip tested, FDA approved, and in the market within three years. Diabetics can expect the sensor to last in their body for up to six months before a replacement is needed. I'm Dr. Manny, Fox News.